Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to stabilize your footage in DaVinci Resolve 17 in the edit page. Let's check it out. Alright, so we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now, we are on the edit page and as you can see I have two clips in my timeline. They have been shot with the BMPCC 4K that uh, doesn't have a stabilized sensor and with lenses that weren't stabilized either. So even though those footage are pretty stable for something shot handheld, we have quite a lot of micro cheater that I would like to get rid of. I would like to smooth that footage out, especially on the second one. So to do that, we're just basically gonna select the footage, uh, the clip that we would like to stabilize, go over to inspector and here stabilization we have a couple of parameters I'm gonna run you through them uh, in a second but here you can just it stabilize with the default mode and it's gonna stabilize your footage but it's not as simple as that you're gonna have to make some adjustment uh, depending on, on the footage that you're trying to stabilize because uh, in most cases, in my opinion, the default mode will not do the job because it will introduce a lot of weird perspective shift. As you can see right now, let's play the clip now with the stabilization. As you can see, we have quite a lot of weird perspective shift effect if we do a before and after. Um, as you can see, it's worth, in my opinion, after applying the stabilization than before. So for that, we need to take into consideration uh, what mode we're using and what kind of footage we're trying to stabilize in order to get the best result. Perspective, what it does basically, it's just adjusting the pitch and the yaw. And on something like that, where we're moving on only one axis, it's not the best way to go about it. We want something that is more simple. So we're gonna use similarity or translation. So right now, let's go with similarity. That's what you're gonna use, in my opinion, with 80% of your shot, because most of your shot gonna be either tilting, panning, or any camera movement that go in only one direction. So let's apply it. And here, as you can see, it's way better. We have something that looks kind of like we are on a gimbal. It looks very smooth, very clean, and we don't have any perspective shift. So that really make a huge difference in my opinion. Where perspective come into play is on a second clip like this one. Right here on this one, we have a shot that is a bit more complex. The subject is moving, the camera is moving um, forward, but also there is a lot of different movement that has been done by the camera operator when shooting. So here that makes sense to use perspective because there is a lot of different things that needs to be adjusted in the shot. So let's apply it. And here, as you can see, if we do a before and after, it looks way better, it looks very stable. There is still a tiny bit of perspective shift in the cloud, but in my opinion, it's not too bad. And that's pretty much the best that you can do with those kind of clips, because that's something also to take into consideration. Um, stabilization is here to help you uh, smooth out your clip and have something that looks better, but it will not save a very, um, bad clip that is super shaky that go all over the place. If that's the case, you will always have those weird perspective shifts. Then you have a third mode that is basically camera lock. Um, it's simulate like you are on a tripod. So basically you can use that if you have um, a static shot, you know, uh, you're not tilting, you're not panning, you're not making any movement with the camera, you're just basically having a static shot and you want to get rid of the macro jitter, you're just gonna hit camera lock and it's gonna make it stable, kind of like you were on a tripod. And that's the three mode that you're gonna use most of the time. But that's pretty much how you're gonna go about it. To recap, if you have a tracking shot, a following shot, use perspective. If you have um, a pan or tilting shot, uh, use similarity. And if you have a static shot that uh, you want to get rid of of the micro jitter, use camera lock. And that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.